Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Healthboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you do too, make sure to subscribe. There. For today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I've been seeing a lot of recently. So it's nothing necessarily new, but there's a lot of bags right now, or at least uh, uh, there's quite a few that I've seen that have this kind of like the circle structure. So of course, like me being like the ever loving narcissist that I am, I'm like, oh, that's referencing the <laughs> hula hoop bag, which like, eh, it might be, it might not be, whatever. But in the end, it doesn't really matter because these bag shapes are quite different. Um, and they are still really interesting. And I do, I just wanted to take a moment to talk about them and kind of, uh, you know, let's just work through our emotions and work through our feelings and see how we feel about them together. You and I, together, working through our feelings together. So really quickly, I did want to just shout out to what I consider like the OG of this kind of like bag shape. I know it's definitely not the first, but it's one of the ones that has some of the most cultural impact. And it is the hula hoop bag from Chanel. So this bag came out in 2013, spring, summer for the Wind Power collection. It's lambskin, it's super soft, um, and it does have that super like circular shape. It has a little bit of kookiness and it's fun. And that's one of the things I really appreciate about this bag. I'm just gonna put it back. Now that that's back on the shelf, I wanted to talk about the next generation. So the first bag I wanted to talk about, I feel like I've talked about this like a million times, but I'm actually, I think I'm obsessed with this bag. So it's from Jacques Mou, it's called Le Sac Rond, and it's basically just a circle bag. Not to compare this bag to the hula hoop, but this one also is a shoulder bag that it is quite beautiful. The model shown throwing it on their shoulder, but they have to like twist it so that the, the actual package part of it, what is that? The bundle part. The bag? The pouch. Sure. Is like not under their arm, rather it's like to the back. But to me that makes it so interesting. It gives a little bit of motion. Um, and it really plays with the idea of like the circle. So it's not just like sitting there and it's, you just, you're turning the circle to make it like fit. Which is something that I have to do with that bag. One thing that I love about this bag is that it does have a shoulder strap. Or like a crossbody strap. I do have to say like I'm not the biggest fan of Jacques Mou's leather. Because a lot of the bags are structural, it has to be like a firmer leather, but you don't get that like suppleness, softness that you get in some of Premier Brands bags. But I digress, it's still a beautiful bag and it's definitely on my wish list, which you can see up here. <laughs> so this next bag I wanted to talk about is, I would actually say the structure of this almost more resembles the Jacques Mou Le Sacrand because it just does. So this is from, okay, Le Petit Joyeux, whatever, sorry guys. But this bag is called Trapezio, Trapezio, because the actual bag shape, the majority of it does look like a trapezoid. It has that kind of like a, like tenty kind of shape, but then the handle of it is round and it just really is like, if the proportions of Le Sac Ronde were kind of flipped, this is the bag you would get. They have a lot of interesting colorways with it as well, like this rainbow handle one is really, it's cute. But it's like, the idea of like a circle as a handle, but then you're making, you're, of course the focus is on like the base of the bag, but then you still get that like very like circular feel, which to me is like playing with the shapes, uh, even if it is in this flat way, is still interesting to me. One thing I did want to mention about this bag is because it's satin, it seems more like a, I mean, it's not formal because it still is like fun and like a little kooky, but like when you look at the material, it also adds another element rather than it just being like a leather bag. I'm not saying it's good or bad either way. It just kind of depends on your taste. So just take that into account. So this next bag is from a brand called Boyi. Boyi, B-O-Y-Y. I've heard of them and I do find their bag shapes quite interesting, but this one is called the Disc 30. And this one I think 
is going back a little bit more similar to the hula hoop bag. It is about this like circle frame and then the pouch is within it. So the circle not only is the handle, but it's also the structure. And that's what I find really interesting. But then this one has, a, it, it feels a little bit more updated. Because it doesn't have the like matte lisse type quilting that Chanel is like known for, it's just a smooth leather. And then it has this like folded top that's like the closure is magnets. And then so like when you actually look at the side of the bag, it kind of looks like a fortune cookie that's like not folded all the way, which I love. I think that's super interesting. But then like uh, it almost has this like minimalist kind of feel to it while still being this very statementy bag. At least I think it's pretty statementy, even though, you know, you can still just get it in black leather. But what I think is so interesting about it is that not only are they playing with the circle as the shape for the structure, but then they're playing with this like folding aspect and then in a way, because it looks kind of like a like a fortune cookie, it has this strange organic shape to it that, you know, a, a circle, it is very soft, but it is also like, circles are like often like, there's a perfect circle and this looks like a perfect circle, but then you have this like awkward kind of like mushy looking pouch. And I think it's, I don't know, I think it's beautiful. I love the, the contrast between like the softness and the hardness of the circle playing with like, the, the fluidity and kind of a, a little bit of motion that you get from the pouch. So this next bag is a little bit cheating. <laughs> so it's not exactly like a circle bag, but the handles of it are this kind of like oval, ovoid kind of shape. And this one's from Stodd. So this bag is called the Limon bag. I guess like the oval handles are meant to hint at it being like a citrus fruit and it actually does come in a bright yellow which is really fun i mean in general the bag does have the circle handle and you're so you're still like one of the main like the key parts of this bag is this like oval that you use to like carry the bag but then of course the base of it is just like a rectangle so it's kind of similar i think to the le petit joyeux bag the trapezio trapezio bag in that it's like playing with two shapes it, on a flat plane, but still is interesting. And I do like that the oval is like not symmetrical. One part of it is lifted. So you have this, a little bit of motion uh, while still having this very structural shape. And this one has a crossbody strap that you can attach and detach. And of course, like I'm a huge fan of versatility. So anytime that you can wear a bag multiple ways, perfect, love it. It says it has just like a snap closure. So to me, it's like the little like like single like magnetic thing, which like isn't my favorite because it's not really a snap closure, but because it's so structured and because it's the opening is not super huge, I don't think it's like any like safety issue or anything with like losing stuff. So I don't know. I still think it's an interesting bag. And then this last bag I wanted to talk about is maybe the most loose definition of all of these, but it's the Olympia bag from Burberry. So this one, of course, everyone knows about it, but for me, Burberry isn't like my top list of brands to look at like most things, honestly. Like I love um, Ricardo Tichy and I love what he did for Givenchy, but then it still is kind of like, I don't know. I think he still hasn't quite found his footing. I see a lot of like repetition in some of the themes that he did at Givenchy in Burberry. And I'm looking for more of like that amplification of like the Britishness that Burberry has. That being said, this bag is beautiful. I love it in that it has this like circle shape. I guess this one maybe is more ovoid, especially because part of the circle is this like floppy strap. But like anytime I see it presented on like their website or any other like sort of like visual of it, it's very much focusing on like the roundness of the bag. And it is just like a simple flat bag with like a zipper on the front, but I don't know, there's something about it that I keep getting drawn to. I don't know if it's like misplaced because like it's not going to be a circle when you're wearing it, right? Like the strap, it's going to create a, a triangle. But then I guess it kind of looks like an upside down ice cream cone. So then I'm like, oh, maybe I do like it. Either way, I still think it's an interesting bag and like, you know, with Burberry quality, you can always trust that. So one bag I wanted to add on kind of like as a little bonus, because right now I'm going to be honest with you. I uh, don't exactly know the next time it's gonna drop, but it is the, the Telfar circle bag. Basically, it's the Telfar logo, the C plus the T, blown up, 
and then the top part becomes the handle. And this one is actually made out of like vegan leather again. But the thing for me about it is that it plays with like the iconography of the Telfar logo. Um, and then the handles, or like the top of the logo becoming the handles. Again, it's like that really fun idea of like, how can we create something out of uh, the house icon of the logo and make it something that's actually like a, kind of practical. So I think it's just a really fun bag. Um, but then of course, like the whole Telfar uh, drop system is kind of like, you have to be signed up to their newsletters. And then you also have to really make sure that you're like on it when that drop time is happening so that you can make sure you get it. Cause those things, especially like these more uh, interesting bag shapes that uh, Telfar is coming out with more recently, those ones go super fast, like the duffel. And then I did see the, the circle ones went super fast, but I do think it is a beautiful bag. And if you're able to scoop one up, that'd be a great addition to your collection. A lot of like hype points for that one for sure. But that's all I have for you today. So let me know, do you notice this circle trend happening in bags as well? Do you like this bag shape? Do you think there's anything more coming from it? I think it is kind of just like something that's here for now and then it's probably just gonna like, you know, fade away into, you know, fashion oblivion. Just like things are supposed to, trends come in and out. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Cause if you like the bag, you can keep using it whether or not it's trendy or not because in the end like who cares what's trendy right so let me know do you guys like any of these bags do you think they're gonna be like a little ugly i love hearing from you guys that's all i have for you today so if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe it lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind designer luxury until next time ooh, it's a circle ooh.